Hey there, everybody. This is Mrs. Bashman, and we're going to go over safety and procedures for carving our linoleum blocks. So these are a little bit bigger than the ones that you have. So what you should have done up until now is printed out your image and then transferred it onto your block using the transfer paper that I got you. And then <clears throat> take a pencil and shade in the areas that are going to remain dark or that are going to be inked up. Here on this block, you can see I've got two starfish and a sand dollar, and they're still the color of the linoleum. <clears throat> For yours, you would have shaded those in. So I'm just gonna use this to kind of show you how to carve and use the knives. So here we have our carving knife, our linoleum gouge. The way to change the blades is to grasp the metal part right here. It twists on and off. You twist to the right to loosen it, and the blade will come out. If you look down inside of here, there's different parts. And if you keep unscrewing this, the whole head will come apart and there will be two pieces. So if that happens, I'll show you how to put it together. <clears throat> you will have this part that has the round, uh, I don't know, tube looking thing. And then this one that kind of looks like a C. Those two have to go together and you'll see how they, they fit like that. And then the part that has the rounded ball end goes towards the tip. You put it back in there and you screw this back on. So you can change your blades. Remember I gave everybody a full set of blades and they should be at the end of your knife. Mine's stuck. Hold on. Oh, it's really stuck on there. Okay, whatever. But that's how you unscrew it. You unscrew the end of it and your blades are going to be in there. Mine aren't. They're over here. So you've got different types of blades and those blades will do different things. So you have this blade, which is the, it's the number two for me. It looks like a flat shovel. This is for scratching lines, very, very thin lines. Then you're gonna have different numbered pieces. This is number six. The number six looks like a medium sized V. You'll notice all of the blades have this rounded dull scoop on the end. That's the end that gets fitted into here and it's going to get fitted in between the ball piece and the C-shaped piece. And it'll fit in nicely like that. And then you tighten it just by screwing it back on until it's nice and secure. So this is a medium V and that's a number six. This one is a number eight. This one's a larger scoop. This is a number six. Six, another six, okay, a two. All right, this one's a, a smaller V, so you can see it's a little bit narrower. Oh, where's my camera? There it is, okay. So the number six is a little bigger, the number four is a little smaller. So the bigger scoop I'm gonna use for larger areas, the smaller scoop I use for small lines. Now, you do not have the bench hook, so that means you have to be extra careful that you do not put your hand here and carve because you slip and then you stab your hand. Don't do that. And always make sure that there is an adult in the house in case you do accidentally slip and cut yourself. <clears throat> God forbid, please don't do that. There's somebody to help. Okay, so whenever you're carving, you always wanna carve away from your body. You wanna carve up and you can spin the block whichever way you need so that when you're always carving up, you're carving in the right direction. So for this curve here, I would start by, notice I'm holding the block down here. You want your blade to be at approximately a 45 degree angle to your block. You don't want it 90, which is straight up and down. You don't want it flat, which is like 180, you want it about 45, between straight up and down and completely flat. And this is tougher than the <clears throat> the easy cut blocks that we did before. So what you want to do is hold it at a 45 degree angle and you want to wiggle back and forth. If you look very closely, you see how I have those little like gouged lines. It's got those little textures. That's because you want to wiggle. So you place it and you wiggle, 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 wiggle back and forth. And you're about moderate pressure. You don't need to press extremely hard because you don't have to go really, really deep. And you're going to come up with little shavings like that. You just go slow wiggle and as i am going around the curve you notice i'm curving the block not the blade 
and you just want a little bit of pressure, moderate pressure, not hard pressure, not extremely light, and you just wiggle and just take your time. Don't rush this. Now, you do want to go not exceptionally deep on here, but you want to go deep enough that um, the, the ink is going to not get picked up in these lower areas. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll carve it once and then we'll ink it up and see if it's deep enough and then you can carve out more if need be. Let's see if I can think of anything else safety wise that I want to tell you guys. Not that I can think of at the moment. If there's anything else, I'll add it on there. Um, so biggest and most important things, never put your hand up here in front of where the blade is always going up and away from your body shift the block so that you're always carving away from your body make sure there's an adult in the house in case you cut yourself and if you have any trouble just let me know all right